What's up everyone, Kashi here, and today I'm going to be working on my mother's Kia Rondo. So we bought this Rondo around 5-ish years ago, and it's done really really well. It's never really broken down on us, it's been very reliable, and it has 7 seats, so it's very practical for a family. And it's overall just an awesome car, but there's been one thing about this car that's just been bothering me for a really really long time. If you come over to the rear passenger side door, you hear that? So this door is extremely loud, as you can hear it's very creaky, it's making a lot of groaning noise. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make a video on how to stop your car's doors from creaking. Now I've actually never done this before, so it's gonna be a great learning opportunity for both you guys and me. So let's get into it. So in order to stop this door from creaking, we need some lubrication. All right, so first off, what is lubrication? Lubrication is when you use a substance like oil or grease in order to reduce friction and allow for smooth movement between two objects, which are typically metals. So for example, if you take these two metal cooking utensils and you rub them against each other, you hear that? So there's a lot of friction between these two metal components. And this friction, it causes sound, like the squeakiness in our door. It um, uh, creates heat, which can actually damage metal components over time. And that's why your engine, which has pistons that travel up and down a thousands of times per minute, there's a lot of friction going on there. That's why your engine has such a complex oiling system to keep everything lubricated so it doesn't blow up. Now, of course, your door hinges, they aren't moving as fast and they're not gonna blow up like your engine, but it sounds pretty annoying. So if you see here, if you take some oil, it's just ordinary cooking oil, and we put it onto the back, kind of spread it out here. Maybe put a little bit here. that you see there's no sound at all because the oil is acting as a lubricant and it's uh, it's able it's allowing the two metal components to um, uh, slide against each other smoothly because they're, they're both riding on a thin film of oil so this is lubrication and this is what we're gonna do to our door hinge to stop it from creaking all right so at first I thought we could just use ordinary cooking oil this is Saporito canola oil, and it worked fine when we were rubbing our two metal cooking utensils together. It worked fine as a lubricant. So I thought, hey, it should work for our car door hinge as well on the Kia. However, after doing a bit of research, I learned that uh, cooking oil isn't that great when it comes to lubricating car door hinges. It doesn't really help with the squeaking. It doesn't make it more smooth. It just makes everything really sticky and just makes a big mess. So not the best solution. Then, I found a couple of websites that were recommending me to use Vaseline or petroleum jelly. However, uh, while I think it would do fine, I only found a couple of websites that were recommending Vaseline to me, so it's not, it doesn't seem that popular of an option, and I don't know if it's the most reliable idea, so I don't think that's what we're going to go with for this video. Instead, I think that for our video, for our cause, we are going to use this. Alright, so this is WD-40. The WD in WD-40 stands for Water Displacement. WD-40 is a special oil, however, it isn't actually a lubricant, instead it's a solvent. That means that it helps get rid of unwanted, unnecessary grease and grime. WD-40 is great at penetrating stuck metal components, displacing moisture, and preventing rust. The ingredients that make up WD-40 give it lubricant-like properties. And according to my research, WD-40 does wonders when it comes to getting rid of squeaks and groans in door hinges and all sorts of applications. At first, 
I was worried that the chemicals in WD-40 would damage the vehicle's paint and corrode the metal. However, after researching, I learned that WD-40 actually prevents corrosion and protects a vehicle's clear coat. So that's another benefit of using WD-40. Now, before we go and start spraying away at the Kia, I just wanted to point out that the company WD-40 actually makes multiple products. And this is their standard multi-use product. However, while this should work fine, it isn't actually the ideal product for this situation, for getting rid of squeaks in car door hinges, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, multi-use product WD-40 evaporates after a while, and when it does, the squeaking will return. Therefore, it's a temporary solution, it's not a permanent solution. However, this isn't really a big deal since WD-40 is cheap and it's pretty easy and quick to apply. So just in a couple of months, you can spray some more WD-40 and it should be fine. So not that big of a deal. The second problem is that multi-use product WD-40 attracts dirt. So after a while, your door hinges in your car might become a little dirty. Now again, I mean, it's your door hinges. No one's really going to go peeking around in there to seeing if it's spotless clean. So again, it's not that big of a deal. And I think WD-40 is going to work fine for application. However, if you want the most ideal product for this situation to get rid of squeaks in car door hinges, WD-40 makes white lithium grease spray. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And basically, white lithium grease spray is intended for long-term lubrication and it's the most ideal product for uh, getting rid of squeaks in car door hinges. Now, I don't have white lithium grease spray. I only had this. And I don't think the problems with multi-use product WD-40 are too major. I think this is going to work fine. So for this video, we're going to go with WD-40 multi-use product. So let's go and get spraying. Okay, so now we've got our latex gloves. We've got a can of WD-40 and some paper towels. We're now ready to start lubing this door up. So there's three main areas where we need to apply WD-40 in order to lubricate this door. The first is this door hinge up here. And the second is this door hinge down here. The third is this beam. This is a car door restrainer. What this does is once you've opened the door past a certain point, it prevents the door from closing back on you. So these are the three places where we have metal on metal contact, and these are the three places where we probably need to apply WD-40 in order to lubricate it. Now this, this is where your wires run from inside your car to the door for like your window motor. We don't need, apply, we don't need to apply lubrication for that. So let's do this. Okay, so you want to start off by giving your can of WD-40 a good shake. Now, multi-purpose use WD-40 is actually a little bit toxic to inhale. It can cause some respiratory irritation. So make sure you're in like an open uh, space with a lot of ventilation. Okay, so now let's start squirting. So the top door hinge. So you just press down on this and the oil will come out. You see? Just like that. So you want to do it everywhere where you see metal on metal contacts. Okay, I think, oh, I think I oversprayed a little. It's running down the side of the door. Yeah. And this is why you have your, uh, your paper towels. So you can, one second. 20 minutes later. And this is why you have your paper towels. So you can get rid of some excess WD-40 that might overspray and kind of make a mess because... Remember I said this multi-purpose use WD-40 attracts dirt so it can create a mess over time. So just dab it where there's a bit of excess lubrication, just like that. You don't want to get rid of all of it because then it'll, it, won't, it won't do its job. It won't get rid of the squeaking. Okay, so I think that's good for the top. Oh wow, look how dirty that is. Okay, so I'll just keep it over here for now. Okay, so let's move on to the car door restrainer now. Again, take your WD-40. Yeah, I put way too much for that top door hinge. I really underestimated how much oil the squirts. I think just one or two squirts should be fine. So just like that. OK, 
Okay, just like that maybe. Gonna be there a little bit. Just a little. Don't wanna overdo it like last time. Okay, I think that should be good. Again, I'll just take some, another piece of paper towel. Sorry again. Two hours later. All right. Wow, it really helped to have a camera, man. Okay, just dab the excess WD-40, just like that. Don't wipe it all off, just give it a nice dab. Okay, I think that's good. Actually, we have, we still have a bit left over. We still have a bit extra left over up here. So I'm gonna dab that down a bit more. Okay, and now let's move on to the bottom door hinge down there. Okay, so get our paper towel and dab it down nicely. Okay, so now, moment of truth. Let's see if the squeaking is gone. Oh dear. Hmm. So before it was like a really loud groan, and now it's like a squeak. So it's a lot quieter. If you remember before, it was like a really like loud moaning. It was much, much louder. And like now, now, now it's way, way better. So this is really good. This is definitely an improvement. I think if you just put a little bit more, it'll be fine. So let's go squirt some more lube. So again, I'm going to start off with the top door hinge. Okay, squirt some oil up there. Maybe, ah, uh, you know what I'm going to try? So now I've squirted some oil with my latex gloves. I'm going to try to move it around in there and kind of spread it out. I think this is going to help. Yeah. I think this is going to really help. Wow, that's a lot of grease. Now let's move on to the door restrainer down here. Ah, it's hard to film and do this at the same time. Okay. Again, I'm gonna use my glove to really get it in there really good. And remember, this isn't the, as I said before, this isn't like the best tool for this job. Like, uh, the, the best way to lubricate your door is with the white lithium grease. So we're using like the the next best thing. So even if it doesn't work perfectly, I'll still be happy. Now to the bottom door hinge. Oh, got stuck there. And I'm just gonna get in there, move it around good. Okay, now I think that's good. Let's go try it again. All right, let's see if it worked. Okay. So this is even better. Before there was two squeaks, now there's just one. I think if you just put a little bit more, it'll be perfect. Okay, so let's just put a little tad more. Not too much, we've already put quite a bit. And you know what, I think if we were using white lithium grease, this would be perfect by now. All right, so. Just putting a little more. Get it in there kind of good now. I'll rub it in. Okay, so I'm kind of confident that it's gonna work now. They say third time's the charm. Let's see. Yes, you hear that? There's nothing. Wow, so that is amazing. So there's no more squeaking. Let's try it again. I'm closing and opening it and before there was so much creaking and groaning and now there's almost nothing. There's like, it's all barely audible. Wow, so this is incredible. It actually worked. Wow, so I, I feel like a really big sense of accomplishment now. Oh my goodness, I've never actually done something like this before. I've never actually been able to work on a car and 
fix a problem that's already been there. I've never really been able to improve something and uh, come up with a solution to a problem. So, wow, it feels good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And, wow, what can I say? Yeah, th thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. So now you know that with just a can of multi-purpose use WD-40, you can stop your car's door hinges from squeaking. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. If you guys have any tips on, I mean, it took us three tries to really, to fully, uh, to stop this from squeaking. So if you have any tips, something I missed, maybe that would have solved the problem faster, feel free to le le leave a comment down in the comment section below. I would love to know your opinions, thoughts, questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Kashi out.